I want to take you back to Mayville in Durban, where the Umsinsi movement is, has invaded a cabinet meeting today. They want to know about the KwaZulu Natal flood victim budget. Dasan Tata is on the ground. We spoke to him a little bit earlier, an hour ago. We saw the protesters. We saw efforts by MECs, Dasan Tata, to try and negotiate with the representatives of the community who are really saying, give us accommodation. We are really sick and tired of staying in halls for so long since the floods. What's the latest now, Dasan? Well, it seems to have escalated a little bit in that you'll see that those protesters that we, that we had behind us earlier, uh, off to my left, are now at the door of this venue. So I'll just take you through what's transpired in the past few minutes while I take you a little bit closer. So there were more police officers that arrived, members of the Public Order Policing Unit also getting here. A short while ago, as vehicles belonging to the convoy of Premier Sisle Zekalala tried to exit, there was a scuffle between police officers and protesters that were blocking the way. Now, I can't confirm yet if the Premier was in fact in that vehicle or if it was just the vehicles uh, that his bodyguards were driving at the time. But nevertheless, those vehicles were stopped outside. There were some people that were standing there with chairs trying to block the exit of those cars. That lasted for a few minutes. Eventually, police moved in. They had their shields. They had uh, they, they, they were armed as well. They were trying to make sure that uh, no violence broke out there. But in doing that, they were also seen tackling some of the protesters that were blocking those vehicles. That angered this crowd and resulted in them making further efforts to stop those cars from driving off. Eventually, the vehicles did move out without incident. But what happened since then is that they all decided to move down here to the door. This is where members of the Sinsi movement are already inside. You saw them earlier, some of the leaders, they were able to engage with the MECs that they wanted answers from. That's the MEC for Human Settlements, the MEC for, uh, for NTIA as well. This is around the issue of the finances and around the issue of, um, of, of, of the accommodation for these members. The other members that were here, the other government leaders that were here, were allowed to leave. So they were allowed to exit and they were then given an opportunity to, uh, to, to, to get on their way because the issues related that they, that they want answers to relate to the issues of finance as well. Accommodation. Right now there are a few police officers and I think I'll also show you at this point and I think you'll agree with me that there are only literally a few police officers that are here outside this door. One would have expected to see more members that are here but although extra members were deployed it still seems like it's a handful that's dealing with a crowd and I think I would estimate at this point to be about in the region of about 200 or, or maybe 250 people that are gathered outside here. They are trying to keep them out because the negotiation and the agreement was that it would be just members of a delegation that would talk to the MECs inside. Right now that being Jomo Sabia and the Musa Dubinglobe. They are sitting inside and the answers, remember, that they wanted, they must come today. That's what they are saying. And if that doesn't happen, they will stay here. And we have seen them do this before because they've done exactly this at the city hall when they wanted similar answers brought down. Yeah, Dustin, I wonder if you'll be able to hear me at all, but we've got those live visuals. We can see that uh, that uh, move by protesting members of the Umsinsi movement, while representatives, their representatives, are inside that building meeting with the AMECs, as agreed a little bit earlier. We just hope that uh, this situation does not escalate uh, at all. The singing is continuing. They are there by the door, and I just wonder why they decided to do so when there had been agreement earlier, when they were outside the gate, that their representative will go inside. And by the way, if you've just joined us, we are live with Dustin in Deben, and we also have for you on the right side of the screen live visuals from the union buildings, where in a short while we expected about 4 o'clock, in about 10 minutes or so from now, uh, the Chief Justice Raymond Zondo will be handing over the fifth and final report of the State Capture Commission's inquiry uh, report, the final report, rather, of the State Capture Inquiry. 
inquiry to President uh, Matamela Sul Ramaphosa. Those are the live visuals we're bringing for you now from the union buildings. When I spoke to Govan Whittles, our reporter earlier on, on the ground at union buildings, he said the way it has been set up today, it looks likely, unlike it happened the last previous reports, especially the, the middle reports that were handed over before this one, uh, today they might, as the media, get a chance to ask some questions and interact with both the Chief Justice and the President, and we are expecting uh, that they'll make some remarks. On the left side of your screen, those are live visuals from the venue of the meeting of the KwaZulu-Natal Provincial Cabinet, which has been invaded by supporters of Umsinsi movement, who are residents of one area of Eteguini, who are complaining that they are still being housed in halls under atrocious conditions, and they are looking for better accommodation. They want to know when will the KwaZulu-Natal provincial government house them and relocate them to better, to, to better facilities. And inside that building, there's a meeting that's going on at the moment. And outside, we've got the protesters there. Dustin Tata was just giving us a live view of that. And of course, as soon as that uh, handover uh, starts in at the union buildings will also take you live there from the visuals in Deben It looks like the supporters of Fumsinsi are now moving back from the door of the venue where the cabinet is meeting inside with their representatives